Welcome back everybody to another video and in today's video I got the mask off. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to do an official face reveal video so today we're playing a horror game and I have a face cam. Yeah this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Uh, I'm gonna hit play. I don't know anything about this game. Alright Clint, uh, Cl Cl Cliff, Cliff, welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In oh. your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Movement is a little bit weird. It's kind of reminding me of FNAF and Outlaws at the same time. Uh, but as I was saying, I don't know anything about this game. I didn't even know it existed until I was just browsing around itch.io. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if it's scary or not, I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm also still doing the Layers of Fear series. I have, well, I have episodes pre-recorded of that. I just, uh, I just felt like doing something different. Because <laughs> I can only use the face cam. Uh, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1950s. A lot of nasty stuff happened. This place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. The place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Okay then. But, uh, as I was saying, I can only use the face cam when I'm on my PC. Obviously. Um, I've just recently upgraded my setup so that I can do this for you all because hopefully it's better than not having the face cam. But there will still be videos without the face cam for when I'm on my PlayStation. And I'm really hoping that the audio is okay because <laughs> I'm still using my headset mic. Um, but I'm in an asylum, which is great. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no feelings, and patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone from public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate in society together with legitimate this is where the hunger hallway patients with other mean. violent we heard that the patients in pre-1920 let God be sorted out. Care. The atrocities then the war hit, the depression hit, and count. then the budget it's death toll was unreal. The room you stand in, once healed, 20 patients no one need of attention. And once again, the 150 patients never left this room. I... Starving, attacking each other at random, <laughs> playing themselves with metal There were two voices playing at once. I have no clue Be what. Step. Please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Should have brought in a Ouija board. Okay, Number one back. way to contact ghosts. Trust here. me. <laughs> Should I be pressing uh, any other right, buttons? I don't know. I don't play computer games that often, so I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm just uh trying to figure out why. Anybody would want to go into an abandoned asylum, you know? Alright, alright, let's try this again. It is asking for trouble. <laughs> Please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. So I think I'm like a paranormal investigator or something. I'm trying to find ghosts in an asylum. <sighs> Again, wonderful Augustine. idea, really. I'm gonna die. Okay. 
You never tell a ghost. You, you, you don't disrespect the ghost. That's the number one rule. That's how you die. Show up or piss off. That is how you die. Oh, all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway and the morgue. Yeah. Our investigation in the other gathering area. My guy is asking to die, like legit. Is it this one? Did I check this one? No, I didn't. It's the one. It's the one door that I didn't check. area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would be mean. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center Cause that's a great idea. Begin. A summoning ceremony. After you just disrespected the spirits. You don't disrespect the spirits. Bad idea. No matter if they're in an insane asylum or not, you don't disrespect the spirits. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Open the door then. Maybe the spirits will open the door for me if I ask them nicely. Hello? Can you open the door, please? What's over here? Nothing, because I can't get over there. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped Mr. caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen to the and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. Door's locked too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. I want to go through that door over there that you were just talking about. Spirits inside this asylum. We know what? that you're here. We release Why am I standing right in the middle of it? What? Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from I'm the realm of the dead. Like an idiot. May be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see. My character's definitely an idiot. <laughs> okay. Don't just stand there. Go go check it out. You want me to check it out when I hear breathing behind me? God damn. I mean I guess this is where I said I wanted to go. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody home? Okay, somebody's home. <laughs> I flinked my hand. You know what, on PC you can see when something makes me jump a lot more. Just because the mouse is so sensitive compared to the controller. Wait, look at, look at my hand. Why, why does it look like that? Well, hey, I saw you before. You were breathing in my ear. How you doing?
Pipa. Yeah, that's the guy that that the guy I was just talking about. I don't know his name. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. What if I don't want to? Maybe I should. What if I wanted to explore some more? Listen, right, we have an issue. Okay, it's not looking good. I don't know what you just said, but... Oh, yes. I heard you say right. So I'm going right. Door's locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way, so, so go up the staircase. My guy... You told me to do some freaking Satan ritual seance thing and you you didn't expect this crap to happen? Like, the door's locked. Crap. Uh, okay, we need to, let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. I, I was just thinking the same thing. I thought I was tripping. All right, all right, just. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Down to the depths of hell. What the? I thought that was my character at first, <laughs> having a mental breakdown. I wouldn't blame him. Why is it that every single horror game has the, like, layout change? Good night. What the fuck is that? My guy, are you good? You don't look it. I'm just gonna leave you alone. Room's gonna repeat. I'm gonna make me go back. Left is always right. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Okay. I asked you if you were good. You can't even be mad at me, alright? I would have helped you if you had opened the door. But you didn't. So, that's your own fault. I just realized as well, my guy stopped talking. Did I like, enter a different dimension or some shit? back again. Oh. Do I see? No eyes. Reminded me of Winnie's. <laughs> no eyes. Oh shit, hey! Girl, what the fuck you doing up there? Get down. I said I, could, I said I could interact for a second, but I didn't get it. Oh, I'm in a cell. Fuck. This can't be good. Oh no. We're good? Maybe. My guy has seriously gone quiet. I think I went into a different dimension or some shit. Alright, confession time. 
time. Oh, okay. It's about the eyes. I kind of had this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the paper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive what? was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the paper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. The pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, I'm trying to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Fair enough. Let's be real there. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Why are you still holding it then if it broke? Come here. Okay, I'll come here. Where you at? What is this you? I would love it very much if my torch would work. But damn thing broke, so. <laughs> Let me come closer, okay. You see me? You were over here. I knew you were. Guys, tell me to run. Like, where the fuck am I supposed to run to? The building is literally changing as I'm going through it. I blame you. Freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you all right? Imagine he just I says know you're not it was just a prank, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. We're, we're we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There's there's no light. Your room. There's nothing I can see. The flashlight went out, and and we we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I I. Are you going in there? I'm not going Wow. Uh, hell no. I see how it is. Look, uh, I'm... If you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry. I'd do it for you. We're not coming. Traitor. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. Wow. I'm sorry. Just like that. Just left me. <laughs> what happens if I don't cut my eyes out though? Curious. Okay. 
did see that the first time. You got a choice. And my kind of like my like I can't move from this spot. Nah, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do it. Damn. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. Where was you? That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? Huh? Listen, shh. I see you. You got what you deserved, motherfucker. You got what you deserved. Holy shit. That was... Interesting. It wasn't super scary, but it was interesting, definitely. It, it's definitely a good smaller horror game to play. In terms of the scare scale, it wasn't super scary, but it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Um, so it's just a short little horror game, which is good. It's exactly what I wanted for my first video with the face cam nothing too big because i still have the layers of fear series going on so i didn't want anything too big if you guys want to check this game out i found it on itch.io sorry i don't know where to look <laughs> i uh i haven't done a face cam video ever but i have done a i have done a couple face reveals that, that later got deleted <laughs> uh but if, if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing to support means the absolute world to me. But with all that being said, I hope you are having a wonderfully blessed. I'm getting further and further away from the camera because I keep leaning back on my chair. I hope you're all having a wonderfully blessed day, night, morning, or hour, but wherever you are, I hope you're having a good one. And I'll see you all in my next video. See ya.